Greetings, this is Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center here to bring you another fun and exciting art tutorial. Well, let's get started. Today we are making a coffee filter daffodil. To do this, we are going to need scissors, coffee filters, paintbrush, some pipe cleaners or twisty ties, a water container, water, and uh, some watercolor paints. You're going to take, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of those coffee filters and we're going to fold it three times, fold it in half three times. So you're going to take it, fold it in half once, so it's like half a pie, half a circle, then we're going to fold it in half, and it's going to be fourth, a fourth of a pie. Fold it in half again, and now it's going to be small piece of pie. Try to make sure it's relatively lined up. You'll see why in a second. But anyway, you're going to take that coffee filter pie that you just made and you're going to cut a petal out of the top of that coffee filter. Wider end, not the pointy end. It's going to make a point. We're going to make a hill with a little point at the top. We're going to open it up. Check and see if we need to trim up any areas. And that one could use a little extra snip. All right, then we're gonna take that, those outer petals we've just made and we're gonna roll them into a little ball. Set them down on our work, on our work surface and kind of clean up our work area a little bit. Then we're gonna take another coffee filter and we're just gonna roll that one up into a ball. Really easy. We're going to take our third coffee filter, that third coffee filter, the coffee filter, and we're going to take that ball and we're just going to plunk it down in the middle of that coffee filter and we're going to draw that, those fil that filter up around that ball like a little bag. So you're going to have a little ball, little pouch in the bottom and some frills at the top. We're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut the tops of those frills so they look uneven and a little bit ragged. When you've done that to your satisfaction, but you still have a trumpet sticking out of your flower, you're going to open that pouch again. You're going to take that ball out and set it aside without tearing it apart. You can set your coffee filters aside. And you're going to take that trumpet you just made and you're going to roll it into a ball. So, outer petals, center, trumpet. So you're going to take the center first and center is really easy. You just get your paintbrush wet. You swirl it around in your paint, whatever color you want it to be. And you paint around the outside of that little ball. That ball is probably going to be the um, biggest one because you didn't cut it. Paint around all the outside. When you paint it around the outside, you are going to brush water over it. give it a quick brush of water. That water is going to be what makes the colors spread to the rest of the coffee filter. There you go. All right, so then you're going to leave that ball as is. You're just going to let it stay. And then you're going to paint that trumpet another color.
And I suggest using, if you're going to do all yellow, I suggest using different hues and shades of yellow. So yellows that are lighter and darker and yellows that are have a little bit of orange or a little bit of green in them. Make it more visually interesting. And try and get on all those crooks and crevices. If you start seeing white, you're going to want to paint it. You're going to take that little ball and you're going to set it down for now. You're going to do this is the outer petals now. So you can see this is going to take a little bit of time, which is a good thing. It's also kind of relaxing, a bit meditative. And we are going to set that. And then if you want to make it multicolored, you can take some orange and paint one side of that coffee filter, that little coffee filter ball. If you want to make it a multicolored Trump, a multicolored daffodil, daffodil. Set it down. Brush out. Then very, very gently, you're going to take, you're going to go to your trumpet and you're going to gently open it up. Set it down. Be gentle because it's it's coffee filter, they a wet coffee filter, it'll tear easily. Then you're going to take your outer, your outer petals and you're going to open them up. If you have an area that you want to paint over now, you can. You can just paint your coffee filter gently like, a, like, another, like any other watercolor painting. Gently pull it apart. You can set it down. Down your coffee filter. And now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sit it aside and let it dry for a minute, for a, for a little bit. And while you're waiting for them to dry, I'd suggest you go check out Baker Hunt's Facebook and Instagram page if you haven't already and like accordingly. It really does help us. Clean up your area too a little bit. Now I have taken the liberty of making some petals ahead of time to show you how to put your daffodil together finally. So what you're going to do, you're going to take that little ball and you're going to stick it in the middle of your trumpet. So it's that coffee filter with rough edges. You're going to wrap that coffee filter with rough edges around that little ball. Then you're going to take that little pouch and you're going to stick it in the middle of those outer petals and gather that up around that little ball. Then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to wrap that around the neck of that daffodil, around that little, around that neck of that little pouch. And while you're waiting and while it's drying, before it's so gently, you can also open those flower petals. Just gently pull on those outer, you can kind of form the flower a little bit. You can gently pull, tug on those, uh, tug and kind of peel open those coffee filters for the outer petals, those outer petals. And you can gather the little trumpet up together. Those, those inner petals together to form the trumpet. 
And that is how you make a coffee filter daffodil. You can make other, of course you can make other flowers, you don't have to just make daffodils. I'll be interested to see how people interpret this activity. This has been Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center telling you to stay safe, stay creative. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!